What's up everyone, it's Dakota with Tarmi, and in this video it's all about teaching you to leverage everything that is available to you right now as it relates to ChatGPT, Power BI, the OpenAI API. In this video we're going to use ChatGPT, both the chat box messenger as well as the API to dig into a Tesla 10k filing. Hope this gets your brain spinning about how you can really have this technology be your little research assistant and it can knock out about probably two days worth of research work in a matter of seconds and minutes i'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and use it in a way that ultimately feeds into a relatively simple power bi dashboard as we normally do on this channel so you can bring the functionality in here have it do the hard heavy legwork for you and ultimately learn a few tips and tricks on how this technology is moving quickly and why you should be using it in your workplace or wherever it is you could find use for it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, first things first, before we get into the fun stuff, which I think is working with ChatGPT, let's all get grounded in the data that we are going to use today for everything that we're gonna build. And it all comes from this in the SEC's Edgar database. I'm on the year end 2022 Tesla Incorporated 10K. This is 10Ks are annual filings. Every publicly traded company uh, traded in the United States needs to file periodic financial statements as well as things like the management discussion and analysis and an, an auditor's opinion on their financials. So that is what the 10K is. There is a lot of good information in here, but naturally, this is a lot of stuff for one human or one analyst to consume. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna use artificial intelligence to give us a little help. I am down here in the uh, consolidated financial statements section of the 10K. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open up ChatGPT. Doesn't matter if you are in the three, 3.5, or which is the standard free one, or in the GPT-4, which is for uh, premium paying members. I think it's about 20 bucks a month as of the recording of this video. And basically the prompt that I will, that I'm gonna ask it for is, here is the 2022 10K financials for Tesla, year ended 2022. Please take this data and create a summary table of the three main financial statements, income, balance sheet, cash flow and return in table format. Great, we've got that. Now let's make sure we do our job and give the AI the information here. So there's balance sheet, that's income statement. We don't really care about the equity statement. And this is the cash flow statement, control C and simply paste it right there below our prompt and we'll let it work. Okay, so that was pretty instant. And what it did here is in its own way of thinking, it has provided us a more concise view of the financial statements. So here's the balance sheet, you know, it sort of gave normal names for each of the accounts. Uh, walking through the other side of the balance sheet, liabilities and equity, this is the uh, income statement or otherwise known as the consolidated statement of operations for Tesla um, walking through the different types of revenues so 2020 in the far right column obviously automotive sales revenues are growing rapidly at Tesla other accounts here and then down here they have partially generated the condensed statement of um, cash flows and now it's working through the rest of it and just like that, we have a much more readable set of financials as opposed to the format that you find in the actual document filed with the SEC. Basically what I've done here is I've just worked with ChatGPT to refine what I want it to return to me a little bit better. Um, asked it to condense the information, took that to mean that I just wanna look at the 2022 information, not the stuff from 2020 and 2021. Then I told it again, I want it in table format and columns for the available years. And this was kind of, it was exactly what I was looking for. Something 
very, very high level that I could take into sort of a, I guess, an executive level dashboard or somebody that just doesn't really know anything about this particular stock. And I could bring this into Power BI and create a very useful summary with it. And that's what we'll do in the next step. But before we do that, let's work with ChatGPT a little bit more. So in the interest of time, I'm just gonna walk you through the prompt that I've put together here that should give me exactly what I need. It's, I'm about to give you the three main financial statements. Again, just a copy paste from the 10K, no formatting, nothing that will waste your time. And I want ChatGPT to return to me a simple four column table. I wanna know the name of the ratio or metric. And then I want the mathematical equation. Again, like I'm creating a dashboard at the end that's gonna teach someone that doesn't know much about this stock exactly what we're looking at in terms of data. And then I want a column for the uh, value for the year 2021, and then the same thing in 2022. And what I really want is just the 10 most commonly used uh, ratios or metrics for fundamental analysis of a company, the health, of, the health of a company. So these things might include something like the current ratio, quick ratio, the return on equity, stuff like that. And then again, just the copy paste three financial statements, press go. And it just cranked that out super fast. And it's got things like EPS, uh, price to earnings ratio, some really good high level information that we can use. Um, just eyeballing some of this right here, you know, obviously Tesla's trading at a very huge price to earnings ratio. Uh, you can see the earnings are growing as the company grows. Revenues have been growing tremendously. Price to sales getting a little bit better, uh, a little bit cheaper that is, right? 13X moving down to 10X. So it's parsed through all that information. We didn't even have to read it and it's given us some really good data. And this is in a format that we could easily bring into Power BI. One more thing we want to pull from that 10K and get chat GPT to read. Everything we've looked at up until this point kind of has a numerical bend to it, but obviously this is a language model and it working with text data is its strongest capability. So what's in a 10K? The management discussion and analysis. And often analysts will go through this information trying to tease out details, key risks, key insights, that kind of stuff. So let's get ChatGPT to do that. Okay, I'm back in the 10K and in the table of contents, I'm gonna to go to the MDNA section, item seven here. And I am just going to do a simple copy paste of all this information. And I actually tried to paste all this text into the chat GPT, just normal conversation window, and it said it was too much. So a little bit of a workaround here. We're going to open a Word document. I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to save this Word document and upload it into chat GPT and have it work, work from that. And full disclosure here, I am now in GPT-4, which is for the premium users, which I think is about 20 bucks a month. And I'm going to be using some of the newest capabilities OpenAI has for ChatGPT, and that's called Advanced Data Analysis. Please be careful what you upload in here because it leaves your control. And if you upload something proprietary to your employer um, or personal information for you, that is obviously a big no-no. And I've got the Word document here. You can see it upload. And here I'm going to give it a prompt. And the prompt I have here is basically read the MDNA section and pull out the insights that would be otherwise kind of difficult and maybe would take a couple read throughs for a normal human to understand. Send that in. And what's kind of interesting with this new GPT-4 advanced data analysis is it will actually show you the Python script here that it's running to read that Word document and understand what's going on. And as you can see, it tried a few different things, um, working through the document, trying to understand exactly what I was asking it, trying to find the insights. Ultimately, it arrived at some pretty good stuff. Some of this is fairly obvious, but some of it um, would, would have taken a human some time. So the company's mission, accelerate the transition to sustainable energy, some numbers on 2022 deliveries, the current focus of management, which is obviously enhancing and actually delivering full self-driving capabilities. Yep, that kind of stuff. If you follow Tesla, you already know this. And then down here, I think this is actually pretty interesting. We talk about the other products that Tesla sells. So deploying its energy storage solutions, talk about solar roof. And then it is breaking into some of the information we've already asked ChatGPT. 
to discuss. Uh, obviously, capital expenditures going up. They're building new gigafactories. And some more information here. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to actually condense this down even a little more so we can bring it over into our Power BI dashboard. And here's what it gave back to me. I mean, I've literally done nothing except copy and paste from the 10K, and it condensed it down to five key takeaways. And that's something that you could put in a research report. Something high level, nothing crazy here. It's supposed to help you think about how the growth of these technologies that OpenAI is providing and enhance the analysis you're already doing and save you a whole bunch of time. Now it's time to show you exactly how we move from ChatGPT, the actual chat messenger, over into Power BI. So I'm going to simply copy this table here. I'm going to open my Power Query, and we are going to click the Enter Data button, which is just if you want to copy paste data in. And I'm going to paste it in here. You can see we have some simple columns here. A value for 2021, value for 2022, the actual math happening for that particular ratio or metric. Uh, press OK and it'll load right up here. And then at this point, I want to build a prompt because I want to show you the second way you can leverage ChatGPT on your data. And in this case, we are going to be doing it in Power BI. So Let's create a new column and it's going to be called our prompt column. And in here, you can type anything you want. It's exactly the same wording you would type in the chat messenger box. In this case, we're just doing it from Power Query. So in this case, I'm going to say for this financial ratio, and we're just doing sort of some text formatting here. Um, and let's do metric name. Please evaluate the trend and importance of this ratio in the context of Tesla financials. Here is the 2021 value. And for 2022 value. Okay, let's just see how that looks. And let's clean that up just a little bit. No space here. So this would be like us typing this into ChatGPT. For this financial ratio, the return, return on equity, please evaluate the trend and importance of this ratio in the context of Tesla financials. Here's the 2021 value, 18.65%, and 2022 value of 28.12%. I think that'll work just fine for artificial intelligence. Now let's move on to the next step where we actually send it to the OpenAI API and ChatGPT returns a column back. So how do we do that? We invoke a custom function, and I already have multiple videos showing exactly how to use this. I'll link them above and below, and we won't duplicate content. You can uh, learn all about it at those videos, and I'm going to invoke custom function here. I'm gonna call it ChatGPT. It'll be my custom function, which is just a call over to the OpenAI chat API. And the message I'm gonna send it is that prompt right there. And it will return an answer for every single row in my table. So I'll press okay, it'll spin. Yeah, I'll be honest, that took about 35 seconds, but it did exactly what we wanted it to do. And let's read an example of one of the bits of information chat GPT returned. So the trend of earnings per share, I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you here but it is giving us some insight as to what the change in that ratio actually means. It actually redefines what earnings per share is, and it gave us a ton of information. Um, guys to book down here, walking us through that. So you can see how even though it's taking numerical data and giving a textual response, that if you brought this all of this into one Power BI visual, how powerful that could be, especially with like a tooltip hover. I mean. You guys have better ideas than I do. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what's possible. And in the other example that we did within ChatGPT itself, where we asked it for a very condensed summary of the three main financial statements, I've again just applied that same custom function using a prompt column here in Power Query. And 
using the exact same logic we just did, just so I'm not repetitive. It has returned to us some good chat GPT insight here. And this instance, it's talking about net cash provided by operating activities. So that's kind of like a gross profit type metric. And it's talking about the trend from 2020 through 2021 and ultimately in 2022. So the same concept here. And I want to bring that information into my dashboard. Last but not least, this one's about as easy as you get. You just paste the five key takeaways that we got from the MDNA section of the 10K. So I'm going to close all this up and bring it into the Power BI dashboard and just do one last quick summary for you guys. And here's the quick data view, right? We have the stuff that actually came out of ChatGPT in the web. We have the custom prompt column that we put together. And then the text response from ChatGPT. Not all of these are perfect, but the idea is that it's doing the legwork for you. Um, same thing with the financial ratios, same exact concept, and the MDNA summary. Popping back over into the dashboard here, and the way that I structured it is I created a custom tooltip tab for each of these two tables here so that when you hover over the total revenues. No, this is not real time, but this is the result that came from chat GPT. And in this way, a ultimate end user, a consumer, a customer, whoever, they can actually hover over it and see that insight that came from chat GPT. In addition to having a very simple, but decent looking dashboard. So I hope all this information was useful to you on how to leverage chat GPT. Um, and its capabilities in your work. Um, it's not all finance and accounting related. You know, this is just one lens to using that technology. And um, good luck. I hope it was helpful.